Hi, in this video I will explain how to make the Grub2 screen in Arch Linux looking nice without using any special tools. There are a lot of available tweaking tools on the web to make this Grub2 screen looking nice, but the purpose of this video is to explain how to use the existing files to turn this ugly and hideous screen into something nice. To my opinion, there are two reasons to do it my way. First, it will help you to understand better what exactly happens with the grub and secondly you will get more satisfaction of your own work than using a prefabricated tweak tool. So here we go, first let's find out how it works. All the grub files are in the root located in the folders boot and at C. In the boot folder you'll find grub cfg, the configuration file. In the at C folder there are two subfolders, the grub D folder and the default folder. In the grubd folder we find several files. These files are used to build up the grub menu that will appear on the grub screen. In the folder default we find the grub text file. This will be the file to use to create a nice grub screen. Now let's see how these files are working. The input files are the grub text file and the files contained in the grub D folder. The output file is the grub CFG file. This file is generated automatically. Please do not modify this file. After working on the input files, you will need to trigger the system in order to update the output file. We will see later in this video how to do that. Knowing the way it works, we now will take the next steps. First, we will open and take a look at the grub text file. Then, we'll see how to prepare the background image. After that, we will modify the grub text file and finally, we will regenerate the grub CFG file. Step 1. Open and analyze the grub text file in the default folder. Let's open a terminal and let's type sudo kate. I will use kate as text editor slash etsy slash default slash grub password. Here we go. So the file we will work on later is open. Let's scroll down to the lines 37 and 38. We will have to uncomment those lines and change the color for the foreground and the background of the text of the grub menu. More important is line 41. Grub background is equal to path to wallpaper. That means that we have to choose a wallpaper in the right format and to define a folder where to put this wallpaper in. Step 2. Prepare the background image. The method I've chosen for this is very basic in order to keep it simple. There are alternatives I will explain later in this video. First, check out the resolution of your computer screen. This is important for choosing a background image with the right properties. Do not exceed this resolution for your image. Now, check the resolution of your background image and convert it into a PNG format if it isn't already. Now that we have the image, let's put it into a folder. To avoid losing your image accidentally, I recommend to create a subfolder backgrounds under user share to put your image in. Step 3. 
modify the grab text file under etc slash default. Let's open a terminal and edit the grub text file. Let's uncomment lines 37, 38 and 41. And let's modify them like this. Line 37. Let's change the colors. White for the foreground and black for the background because of the presence of a background image just choose black for the background that won't have any effect on your image white is now the color of the menu items on the grub screen okay line 38 let's change the colors red for the foreground and black for the background for the same reason explained before. Red is now the color of a selected or highlighted menu item on the grab screen. On line 41 we have to define the path to our image like this slash USR slash share slash background slash and here comes the name of the image that in my case is arch underscore Linux underscore one dot PNG pay attention to keep the quotation marks so let's save the file to finish this step step 4 regenerate the grub CFG file at the beginning of this video I explained that the grub CFG file is generated automatically but when modifying the input files you need to trigger the system to update the grub CFG file. So let's open a terminal and type sudo grub-mkconfig. Here is the output. That's a grub CFG file. Let's take a look at this file. At the beginning it's written do not edit this file. It's automatically generated by grub mkconfig using templates from Etsy grub D and settings from Etsy default grub. If we scroll down a little bit we find set menu color normal to white black and set menu color highlight to red black. Those are the changes we have made in the default grub file. Let's scroll down a little bit more. Here it is, background found. So normally the grub menu should be fine. Let's check it out by rebooting the computer. So here is a nice grub screen instead of that ugly one. Sorry for the quality of the video, I've quickly filled my screen with my smartphone. Like promised, I will end this video with alternatives and extra information. For instance, you can reduce the size of the image on the grub screen. Instead of using a background image, you can use a theme. Then you have to uncomment line 42 in the default grub file and define a path to a theme. You will find themes on the web and more specifically on the Arch Linux website under AUR. If you like to learn more about the grub, I recommend these two URLs. The first one you'll find on Arch Wiki and the second one is a full tutorial that will answer all your questions. I would like to thank you for watching this video. See you on the next one.